Hi, in this video I want to show the procedural way of uh, how to compute volume of the sinking particle shape. So, first of all, let's preface uh, a mass behind this setup. To compute volume of any geometry, we need to compute volume of each tetrahedron that form it of each face of the object. Let's have a look at this block. Tetrahedrons looks like this. Uh, this is the face of our mesh and this is a base point at which all our tetrahedrons will be formed. This is the equation of calculating volume of our tetrahedrons. Mm, this is cross product and uh, this is dot product. All our tetrahedrons volume have a sign and if you sum up all of them we have the final volume of our mesh. If you want to know more details about this, you can visit this page. I, I will post the link below. I got this code from my script. This is function and this is call of this function. The function requires an object the function doing pretty much the same as we took it before. So first what we need to do is get ob get number of faces of our object, loop uh, over each face, get three vertex position, compute this equation, sum up all the volume of tetrahedrons and divide the result by six. Again, I will paint a little bit. This is our object. This is object faces. This our tetrahedrons. First step, we need to compute number of faces. Num f. Second, we need we need to loop over faces. Third, we need to compute three vertex positions of looped face. Four, we need to compute the equation of the volume. Then we need to sum up all these volumes. And at last, we need to divide it by six. Okay, so back to max. Uh, this is a basic setup. I will not create it from scratch to save some time. It's pretty straightforward. First of all, I need to create the placeholder of my variables. This is memory node. It has two scalar types. Variables, volume variables will hold the final result and dv variable will hold the temporary volume of uh, tetrahedrons. Next I will need to create my particle mm, and I am initialize uh, with zero these two variables dv and volume. Next step is more complicated. So we have group of our particle then we need to get sh the shape of our particle. Next step, we need to get number of faces. We can use geometry, geometry, object. And it has output number of faces. The next step will be to use iterator to recreate the for loop for our faces. So it's located in initiate iterator. Number of faces we put in count input.
next step will be to get our face vertices again we use uh, geometry helper is a geometry face we take our object take our face it will be the number of iteration and finally we get vertex position ID 1, 2 and 3 sorry not vertex position but vertex ID now we need to get actually position of the vertex geometry vertex helper again we have object vertex id and here we get position output we need to create this node three times for each single vertex okay finally we need to make this expression it's the same as is here okay, we will copy and paste it to you view it more correctly we put position to the this inputs the next step we will need to iterate we need to sum up all the computed volumes so we will use the memory node and put it again to the same variable and final step we need to read our final volume and divide this by 6 and write it to the volume variable so that's it now let's ensure the code is working so first of all I need to compute the volume of my prepared object I will run the max script code as I shown before and I will get this number and if I add it to my synchron particle system to frogs group object of particle instant ship now I will mark this to show in the bug back window and we get the same number the only thing I forgot to mention is that I I have this particular each condition to compute the volume only one time when the particle is born so that's it where it can be useful uh, so volume is needed to compute a proper mass mass equals density multiplied by the volume of an object this is density on s of some construction materials mass and velocity plays important role in collision this is equation of uh, energy and momentum preservation so it consists only of mass and velocity of two colliding objects in thinking particles we have an option called 
sizes mass to differentiate two object and it will multiply by this value to compute the final mass of an object but for example these two boxes have uh, the same length about 100 and if you checked their mass they will be the same but this object is much bigger than this let's check how much they differentiate in, in the volumes so if I unhide it in copies it have about 80 thousands and the second object have have about 5000 so they differentiate about 16 times if we put here 16 ok let's check first how how they collide with default behavior This is the default, and if we make this about 16 times bigger, now it looks much more interesting.